Welcome again to another exciting episode of Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. Hey, thanks again to the ASM artist Tingly Man, who filled in for me on Friday for our April Fool's... Uh, I mean, our very serious show that was not divisive at all. Anyway, I'm your host, Andrew, and we have a pretty short one today. First up, Bitcoin finished the first quarter of 2023 with gains of 71.77%, making it the best performing asset class by some distance. The tech-heavy Nasdaq delivered more tepid growth of 20.5%, while the S&P 500 edged up 7%. Following a strong start to the year, crypto enthusiasts are hoping to see a turnaround and put the bruising bear market behind them. But there are no guarantees that this bullish momentum will continue, and while we have seen a decoupling from the stock market in recent months, a close correlation could make a comeback. Bitcoin is looking rather flat as we start a brand new week, holding steady at $28,300. It's a pretty similar picture across smaller altcoins also. Elon Musk wants a judge to throw out a $258 billion lawsuit that accuses him of running a pyramid scheme to support Dogecoin. The Tesla and Twitter CEO has come under criticism for his full-throated endorsement of the meme coin back in 2020 and 2021. His lawyers claim the lawsuit is a fanciful work of fiction and that Musk's tweets were merely innocuous and often silly. Calling for a dismissal, the billionaire added, there is nothing unlawful about tweeting words of support for or funny pictures about a legitimate cryptocurrency that continues to hold a market cap of nearly $10 billion. Speaking to Reuters, the investor behind the lawsuit said they are still confident of securing a win. And finally, a man who stole 50,000 Bitcoin after uncovering a glitch in the Silk Road marketplace should go to prison, prosecutors say. James Zong has asked to be spared jail time because he's autistic and he had a difficult childhood. But the government says a custodial sentence is required to send a strong and clear message to others that cryptocurrency thefts and frauds, no matter the victim, run the risk of incarceration. While sentencing guidelines suggest that he should spend 27 to 33 months in prison, prosecutors have said they're recommending less than two years. The Bitcoin loot was discovered in a computer stashed under a blanket in a Cheetos popcorn tin, very specific, stowed away in a bathroom closet. James will learn his fate on April 14th. And when it comes to choosing your fate, you can pick the blue pill, where you navigate away before liking this video, subscribing to our YouTube channel, or clicking on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live, or you can take the red pill and see how deep the engagement spiel goes. Liked this episode? Hated Tingly Man? Well, April 1st has passed, so you don't have anything to worry about for a year. Let me know your feelings on ASMR in those comments below. I'm sure everyone loves it. Questions about our headlines or crypto in general? Take the plunge and ask Alex in that description below. Alex is always a great resource for all things Web3 and the metaverse, and that about does it for today. Again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and it's Monday. And we'll see all of your beautiful, shining faces tomorrow.